Yo, 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 this is Caleb Jones. This is Alpha Male 2.0, freedom-focused lifestyle design for men. If you're new to the channel, you should subscribe. We do five videos a week here on how to make your business life and your woman life more free because you need both. My first job when I was 19 years old was at a medium-sized software company. This is a long time ago now. This is early 1990s. I'm an old man. And uh, there was a tech support department. So this is before they outsourced tech support to India, where you could actually call a tech support phone number and you would actually get an American, <laughs> the good old days. And uh, there were about 60 people in the department and we were all a bunch of nerds. And it was, um, we were supporting a product called PC Tools. It was a DOS utility for those of you who are old enough to remember DOS. And it was a really good piece of software. It was actually very fun. It was a very exciting time in my life. Not as exciting as now, now is the most exciting, but it was pretty exciting back then. And um, they were developing a new version of PC tools for this new thing called Windows. Windows 3.1, they were gonna make a Windows version of the PC tools product. So all of the smartest nerds in this department, there were about seven of us, and because it was tech support, they ranked all of your numbers in terms of your call statistics, so you could actually bring up a list a ranked list of the who the best people were in the department and the worst people in the department. And I was always in the top 10%, even though I was 19 years old. I was a big, excited nerd, and I was into this stuff, and so there you go. So um, the seven or eight of us, the big, big nerds, the big, hardcore geniuses, I wasn't a genius, but some of these guys were, of the department were really excited. They said, oh, this is great. And uh, one day we got word that the development department, the programmers, we're going to pull seven people from our department to be official testers for the new product. And we were so excited. We're like, oh my God, this will be so great. We're the seven best people in this department. We know Windows better than anyone else in the department. This will be awesome. We, can't, we were so excited to be picked. And so finally the day came and the woman uh, who ran the department read off the names. Here's who they have selected. Here's who we have selected to work on this amazing new Windows version of our product. And we're all like, oh man, this will be fucking great. And they started reading off the names and none of us were picked. We're like, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on here? We thought for a minute and we realized the seven names they rattled off were the seven worst people in the department. The people with the worst customer service ratings with the worst call times. So what our management had done was take the worst people from our department and give them the project that everybody wanted. Now, why did they do that? Well, when people complained, people screamed. One guy started crying, people were pissed. Guys were yelling, guys were sending angry emails. I was one of them. I was a young guy back then, and when you're in your 20s, you have a big temper and you get mad at little things. And uh, basically what the department said, they didn't actually say these words, but this was what they said, this was the deal. They said, well, yeah, you guys are the best in the department. We can't give you up because then the, the department would crash. All our numbers would crash. We rely on you guys. We gave them the shitty people. Life is not fair. Fairness is a concept that does not exist in the world of human beings. Scott Adams, pre-Trump, before he went insane, had a saying. He said that fairness is a concept invented so stupid people could involve themselves in arguments. There is no such thing as fairness. That doesn't exist. But there are ways in which you can make your life more fair, or at least less unfair. I'll give you another example, I just thought of this. From that same time, that same job, this was a department that had a lot of computers. And every time they retired an old computer, they would give it away to one of the employees to take it home as a gift, it was kinda neat. And some of these computers were pretty damn good. They were used, but they're only about a year old. So some of these computers were really good. So there was a waiting list, and you were ranked in order of when you submitted your name to the waiting list. And so a guy, a friend of mine, a guy named Wes, he was next in line to get a computer. And they announced that Susie, I'm making up this name, Susie got a computer. And Wes was like, what, what the hell? What's going on? So then another person got a computer. It was Jennifer. Jennifer got a computer. And he started noticing that all the people getting the computers were not only not ranked in the list, they were all women. You know why that was? The supervisor who was making these decisions was the only woman supervisor in the department. So she was favoring the women and giving the women the computers even though several men were ahead of them on the list. 
Life is not fair. As a matter of fact, when the guys complained, I wasn't there. So this is all secondhand. But when the guys went and complained, I still remember this, even though this is like 30 years ago. When the guys complained, their boss said, well, you know, life isn't fair. Life, and that's true. Life isn't fair. You will not be fair. You know how you make it fair? You start your own business. When you start your own business, when you no longer have a job, then all the results are based on your activities. So when I left the corporate world, I didn't have a job anymore, and I haven't had a job for 25 plus years. When I didn't have a job anymore, if I made a lot of money, it was because I busted my ass and did well. If I didn't make any money, it was always my fault. It was because I screwed up and did something fucking stupid, or I was lazy and didn't get to work. That's fair. It's fair, or at least it's much more of it. It's not 100% fair. I'll give you an example of something that happened after I started my business, many, many years later when I was a consultant. Uh, I was called into a new customer. It was a new account I had been working on for a little while. It was a big, big account. So I was very excited about this. Brand new account it was going to be a lot of money. And they had a very serious problem. Someone had embezzled a bunch of money from the company. And so I sat down the first day there, the second day there. I was in the conference table with a bunch of people talking about this. And all of a sudden, one of the women sitting at the table, uh, she turned and looked at me and said, who is this guy? Why is he here? And they said, well, this is Caleb, he's a consultant, da, 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 he's good at these types of things, blah, 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 blah. And she said, you know, Susie at HR, her brother does that exact same type of work, and he's a consultant. Why aren't we using him? I mean, no offense to you, Caleb, no offense to you. But why aren't we using him? Why aren't we keeping this in the family? So sure enough, the very next day, I show up, and this other guy shows up, and he's much more hungry for the business than I am, and he's running around like a maniac, kissing everyone's ass and trying to do the best he can. Um, he was decently skilled. I'm not saying he was a bad consultant, but he was very, very hungry. And then two days later, I found out I was out. Was that fair? Probably not. But that becomes an exception to the rule when you have your own business. The other 95% of the time, when I worked hard, when I focused, when I did the correct things, I made money. When I slacked off, when I didn't work very hard, when I dorked around, I did that especially when I was a younger guy, when I would screw around, when I would kind of not take it seriously, I would lose money. That's fair. The way you make things fair is by starting your own business. They will never be fair if you have a job. If you have a job, even a job you think is good, even a job you like, even a job that impresses your mom, if you have a job, it will never be fair. I have buddies who work at big companies like Microsoft, Google, and Intel, who are constantly terrified they might get laid off. Not fired, laid off, which means it's not their fault, because it's not fair. You'll have decisions that will be made that have nothing to do with the performance of the company, with how much money you make in the company, with how long you've been at the company. That's just the way it goes. So if you want to guarantee unfairness, stick with your job. Stick with your corporate job. You'll be, it'll be unfair for the rest of your life. If you want a shot at fairness, a really good shot at fairness, start your own business and get it to the point where you can quit your fucking job so that life can actually be fair. Today, I have multiple companies. My life, my financial life today, is 100% fair. It's fair. Every time I have a real problem in my business, not minor little problems, but a real problem in my business, which is rare, but every time it happens, I can always trace it back to one idiot. This idiot right here, it's my fault. It's fair. Every time my business does really well, I can also trace that back to somebody, me. It's fair. So you want fairness, start your own business. If you need help starting your own Alpha 2.0 business, go to www.joinsmic.com. We talk about that a lot. I will see you in the next video. Bye.